Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the dealership. We are at actually a Kia dealership right now. I saw this online, wanted to come take a look. 1794 with the TRD off-road package. It has the nice lift on it. Looks about a six inch lift. A wheel and tire package. Wanted to come check it out. Now, I don't know the year yet. I didn't look into any of that. I just saw the picture, decided to come look at it, but I will tell you right now, because I like to show you little Easter eggs. This is a 2018 or 19, and here's why I know. Toyota Safety Sense, right? So that is 2018, that's when it began, but it still has the antenna on the fender. And that went away in 2020, so that narrows it down to two years there. Let's take a look at this right here, a little smoke mesquite looking action. This is a great color uh, for this Tundra because of the interior, the saddle brown interior. Some would say orange, but in 2018, they upgraded the grill to what you see in front of you. A lot less chrome. It's still very chromed out, but there's a lot more black in it. Uh, definitely a big upgrade. I mean, this thing is fully loaded. We know that. Blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, sunroof, memory seats, memory steering wheel column, whole nine. This has everything. We will see what else the owner did to this. This has some Terra Grapplers on it from Nitto. The wheel. I can't see what kind of wheel that is but it has a ready lift suspension on it. This has the LED headlights and fog lights, which also came out in 2018. 1794 edition badge here, which means there's no Tundra on the bottom because it says Tundra there. Chrome, mirror caps and handles. Can't really see because it's tinted, but you know the color of the interior here. He has Flowmaster. Has a tonneau cover, a solid tonneau cover. Undercover by Truck Hero. So it's actually a dual exhaust setup. Color keyed in the rear as far as bumper. Love that color. It has a nice lift on it. It's not too crazy. It has the stock side steps. So let's talk about price here. 2018 Toyota Tundra four wheel drive, 1794, 22583 on miles. Just looking for a price. I don't see one unless I'm blind but you can pause and see all these highlights here. Call for info, it says. Just went onto the website to check the price. 54579 on this 1794. So the big question is, the things people keep talking about, are the prices coming down on the used uh, market? Especially these Tundras, the prices have been way up. So this truck, brand new in 2018, was probably right around what they're asking for, about 55 grand, and this has uh, 20,000 or so miles on it now, uh, but the prices definitely are coming down a little bit as per what I see. I'm going to keep looking, uh, but this with the lift and everything, it probably a year ago at this time, this would probably be around $68,000. So not bad at all. You got to let me know what you think about this truck. If you were getting 1794, is this the color you would get? Another funny thing, another Easter egg to tell you, this has power folding mirrors. Okay. The only Tundras in this generation that have power folding mirrors are the 1794 and platinum. All the other ones, you have to go and manually fold them yourself. I have plenty of little side notes on the Tundra. You guys know that. Uh, but that's another one we don't really talk about very often. Love the fact that they upgraded the LED or the headlights to LED. Also, the fog lights. That is a huge, huge win, in my opinion, there. Uh, went from Halogen 2017 to this. Uh, SR5 TRD Off-Road and Up got that. So that's great. And they look great just even when they're off like this. And they look even better when they're on with the daytime running light that goes around the outside. But definitely a great looking truck. Would look even better with the TRD Pro grill on it. Maybe body color out that chrome a little bit. But that's one thing about this good smoke mesquite color. The chrome doesn't look bad. And another great thing that we talked about earlier in the video. The fact that uh, there's a lot more black accenting going on here. Helps the chrome a lot. And you can change those mirror caps out and those handles to body color. No problem. Sparksparts.com. Promo code Tundra234. It saves you 5%. But this thing is fully loaded. Window goes all the way down in the back power sliding rear window back there. In the crew maxes. Gotta love it. Once again, this has a moonroof. So this is fully loaded. But let me know what you think about the price and the mileage. Is this something you would buy? Are you a fan of the 1794? I know a lot of people don't really like the interior. You either love it or you hate it. There's really no middle. But one thing that's for sure is in the new generation 1794 Tundra. They've done a lot for the interior. Uh, there's not a lot of splashing going on in this interior here. There's saddle brown, chrome, uh, wood grain, uh, just a lot of colors going on in here, but it's still beautiful. But the new generation kind of blended it all together a little bit better. So let me know what you think. Are you a fan of the lift 
the wheel and tire package and all that, or do you like it stock? And what's your thoughts on the 1794? So I decided why not stop at the Ram dealer. As you know, Ram is, or maybe you don't know, 0% for 72 months right now. That is probably the best deal I've seen on pickup trucks in years. You don't see 0% at all anymore, but 72 months, that is a steal. So I wanna see the pricing of these things and compare it to the Tundra. Kind of go from there. Looks like we have a Rebel, so that'll be cool to see the price of that. This is a direct competitor here to the TRD Pro. Um, nice looking truck. You know, you can't say it's ugly. It has the same kind of uh, hood setup as the Tundra when it comes to what the truck is. E-Torque Hemi 1500. So that's your hybrid style right there. This is what my brother should have got. He got something like this, but he got it in the 3.6 liter they have, Pentastar. Good looking truck though. Um, one thing I will say that's nice about the Rebel, depending on the package you get, it's pretty plain. There's nothing going on too crazy. It just says Ram on the side. You got the wheel and tire package, nice Goodyear Wranglers there. Nice looking up front. What do you think of the grill of the Rams? I always like to ask people, do you like the classic or do you like the new? I like the classic, I gotta be honest. Let's see if there's a price tag. I can never tell what side they're on here. This is not meant for people. Oh, there we go. Oh, there was a spider web right between that. All right, so the truck here, this is a brand new 2022 Ram 1500 Rebel, 54885, 63385. There is a markup to 67460. But focusing on this 63385, um, right around the TRD Pro, I guess. The TRD Pro is more like 68 grand. But don't forget, with the TRD Pro, it pretty much is what it is. Comes one way. This here, uh, you can get it. This doesn't even have a moonroof on it or anything. You can get it with or without stuff. So you can customize. Do you want to see the rear real quick? Let's show you that. This is the big ram splashed across the back. So there you go. It's got like a dual exhaust setup going on. Black bumper. Ram bedliner that says Ram. I want to hear what you guys think about the Rebel and about Ram in general. Because that video, I made a short with my brother there, which I will link at the end of this video if you haven't seen it. Uh, you know, it's gotten a lot of views, so a lot of people check it out and have pros and cons with the Ram. Some of them are pretty interesting. But they have a 1500 Hemi e torque here, just a regular uh, package, nothing crazy like limited. What do you think of the wheels? This has Bridgestone Duelers on it. See, they have a bunch of different grills now. So they still have a Ram 1500 Classic that has the old grill. Then there's that grill on some of the luxury models. Then uh, the Warlock and the Rebel have something like that. But not bad. Let's see what we got up here. There's a big 3500 Heavy Duty. This is what a lot of people want to see in the Tundra camp something crazy i mean this is like a work truck as you can see the rear uh, but a 2500 or a 3500 a lot of people ask for that a lot of people ask for the diesels but i don't think that's ever going to happen with today's uh, emissions laws and what's to come down the road this one here is just a 1500 bighorn this is like your sr5 asking 62265 66340 so the sr5 comes in this has that really big ipad screen in it the sr5 definitely comes in a little cheaper than this but once again you can option you know these out now with the sr5 of the new generation you could really option that out to get very close to this price they have a used gmc denali it's like a capstone a lot of used a lot of hemi e-torque that's what i'm seeing a lot of here E-Torque, E-Torque, Eco Diesel, E-Torque, and it looks like we have another Rebel, which we will check out. Let's check out this Eco Diesel, though. Not a bad looking truck. Looks just like a regular Ram, but let's see what the pricing does. The stickers on the other side. What the pricing does with the diesel. Is this something you would consider? Are you still interested in something like an Eco Diesel setup? Comment below, please. So this one's here going 61 nine five five it's a big horn setup 47 nine one five to begin i mean you could pause the video to try to see all the options but the window's dirty and it's tinted kind of tough there's your fuel mileage 21 29 with a 24 65 135 with markup which your markup is like leather protection ram appearance package that kind of thing spray on bed liner 
and it has a sport logo on the back. I don't know how I feel about that sport. It says it over there on that one too. It's just put Ram Sport, something a little different. I don't know, just me. The details, you know? For some reason, I've never been a big fan of the Ram's mirrors. I don't know. I look forward to hearing all of your comments on this one. And once again, another Rebel, this one's in black. Nice looking setup. I mean, if you're gonna get a Ram, I think the Rebel would be the way to go. Obviously, depending on what you need. Ram still has diesel, 2,500, 3,500. Power wagon. Mirrors there. This is the inside. This has the 8.4 inch screen, I think it is, Uconnect. I'm sorry about the glare. Uh, this doesn't have that giant screen, but this one here is 73. About 10 grand cheaper than that other one we saw. It started at 54,885. So like I said, you can really build this thing up. There's some options, 21, 29, 24. This is Eco Diesel Ram Rebel. That's cool, huh? I didn't know they made an Eco Diesel Ram Rebel. That's different. All right, so there's your question right there. Are you going Eco Diesel or E-Torque uh, Ram Rebel? I mean, the more options, the merrier. It's 75, 715 with the markup. This looks like it has Let's see if you guys can see. All right, so that's a pano roof. Not bad at all, but uh, yeah, the more options, the merrier with these trucks, right? You wanna make a decision when you're spending this kind of money. I mean, these trucks are becoming house payments at this point. So you wanna have all the options in the world to get yourself exactly what you want if you're gonna spend the money, leave the dealership super happy. So why not have some options? But let me know what you think. First off, what kind of Ram are you into? Are you into something like the Rebel? Are you into something like a Bighorn? Do you care about Hemi E-Torque? Need to know. Eco Diesel there. What do you think about the Eco Diesel and the Ram? Comment below. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say.